Coach, just kind of a thought on, on Charlotte. You mentioned it's a tougher environment to play. What makes it so hard to win at Charlotte? Well, they got great fan support. You know, it gets loud in there, and, and uh, you know, they have a really good team. You know, they're not 15 and 3 without a reason. You know, they've got a uh, very physical team. Um, you know, they've got some freshmen that have really impacted their program. So it'll be a big challenge for our guys tomorrow night. When you look at uh, what this would mean for the conference, you know, 4-0, a great start. But uh, to go on the road, uh, you know, is this still kind of a challenge that this team has to overcome, even though you did win at St. Bonaventure? Well, every road game's a challenge. You know, we, we, uh, you know, you don't worry about past history, whether you won previous road games or lost them. It'll have nothing to do uh, with how we play tomorrow night. You know, we just have to continue to be the same team. Uh, that we uh, focus on being every day in practice. Uh, nothing changes when you, know, you get booed. You just have to continue to uh, go out there and, and, and play the kind of basketball that you've been practicing. What do you like most about the way this team's playing right now? Well, I think we're doing a really good job on the glass, which is going to be put to the test tomorrow night. You know, Charlotte has uh, some, some really athletic front court players, some strong kids. Uh, their age uh, sort of defies logic because some of their stronger kids are freshmen. But they, uh, they rebound the ball at a high level. They post it. Uh, but I really like the way our team's rebounding lately. Are you excited about where this team is right now, especially in conference at 4 0? Well, it beats 0 and 4. You know? So we, um, uh, we recognize that we have a long road ahead of ourselves. Um, you know, it's, it's coach speak, but we'll worry only about Charlotte and not how the rest of the schedule is going to play out. You know, we don't look at the schedule uh, like a fan does. You know, We've we got to give a great effort tomorrow night. The starting lineup has been so successful the past couple of games and what's worked out. Now D's back. Is there any thought of changing the lineup or will you keep going the way No, I like the way we're playing, you know, and, and D's minutes aren't going down. Um, so, you know, it's not like he's been penalized for getting injured. Um, you know, he's got a great attitude, you know, just like all of our kids. That whoever starts, really meaningless. I mean, D's on the floor at the end of games when it matters most. Heck, he was on the floor, um, you know, after a brief hospital stay when we played Temple. So the guys that are on the floor at the end, uh, Dee's going to play his meaningful minutes, and so there's really no change is needed. You got Jeff going. How uh, is important to get uh, Justin going as well? We need him. You know, he, he was a consistent double-figure scorer for us. He rebounded the ball uh, at a really high level from the small forward position early in the year, and, um, you know, we're, we're going uh, to keep after him. Uh, but uh, he has to produce in order to stay on the floor. Anything special you've done to try to get him going, or is it just, you know, just keep coaching him hard? Yeah, he's got to keep coaching him hard. You got to watch film with him. Um, you know, you got to point out what he's doing wrong, what he needs to work on, and um, you know we uh, will continue to do that. Around here for a while now, mm -hmm. and Coach mentioned it being one of the hardest places to win in conference. What makes it so difficult to win there? Uh, the the atmosphere there is crazy. Every every time we go down there, the fans, you know, it's like they're crawling right on your back while you're out there playing, and uh, the, they just make it even a tougher game than than it uh, should be. But um, just they they always play hard. Charlotte's always been a team that play hard every every game, and uh, I think that uh, the fans propel them to uh, play hard, and it just makes it a difficult game. Do you guys like going into that environment? Do you like having all those people against you? Um, never like you know the enemies, but it's it's good for us, you know, to get that that road experience to um, help us throughout the rest of the season. This team's now four zero in conference um, after. Tough non-conference start. Do you, do you feel reinvigorated? Do you feel different about this team now that maybe did a month ago? Um, it's just a little easier coming to practice, knowing you know you you worked hard and it's still, we're starting to see reap the benefits of our hard work, and it's just uh, good for the guys. Do you, have any, do you feel at this point though that this team is playing better basketball? Oh yes, yeah, definitely. We're, I believe we're playing a lot better than we were um, in the last few games, you know, and the tough losses we had, you know, we're playing a lot better together and uh, guys are um, helping one another out more. You've seen the past couple of weeks how hard it is to win college basketball on the road. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's nothing new. It's always nothing new. Way. But this team has won three of its first four at mm -hmm. home. Is there a different kind of statement made, though, when you do win on the road? Uh, definitely. It's hard to uh, go on the road and win games. And you get one on the road, you know, you feel like you accomplished a lot. And, you know, to go on the road and steal one in conference is big time. What did you learn that day in Tennessee? Um, just have to always be ready, you know. Hard, hard work will pay off and, you know, just got to be ready. Did you feel like a different player since then? You really started to produce. Um, not necessarily a different player, just, you know, more buckled down and, you know, ready to help my team as much as I can.
is more there, so. Is there a feeling that like, you're playing some of your best? I mean, Coach said the other day he thinks you're playing your best basketball. Uh, I think, you know, I feel like I'm playing better. My teammates are encouraging me, and they're, um, they're always on, on my side. So with those guys, you know, I don't feel like I'm doing too bad. You guys have D back. Mm -hmm. uh, you won without him, but mm -hmm. you don't have him back. How big of a deal is that? Um, it just helps with the rotations. You know, guys not being um, out of position as much um, when we have them back.